Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is part 3 to my tutorial on how to make your PlayStation 2 a full entertainment system. Well, before anyone complains about the video quality, I may try to make this video HD but my video camera and my television adapter for the PlayStation 2 can only go so far. So I'm sorry, okay? The only real HD parts will probably be just from my computer. Uh, computer screen so sorry here so let's get going shall we a very important tool when working on the PlayStation 2 is you launch ELF as I explained before ELFs are programs on the PlayStation 2 that, that can do various things in this case you launch ELF does very much what the name says it is m much like the Microsoft Windows Explorer you can access files, copy them and change them. As before you need the ability to boot up the program but once it's uh, started you can launch any other ELF program you need. Therefore it is more or less a substitution to FreeMC boot since the newer PlayStation 2 models have it blocked. So well it's the only thing we have but it's the best there is so there shouldn't be anything to complain. It's not as pretty but what the fuck. Well, <laughs> without further ado, let's go over to part Once you launch ELF is started, you will notice that it is a very simple program, but it is a very powerful. Now, co navigation is very simple. Up, down goes through the list. X is, o X is OK, O is cancelled. But be aware that some you launch ELF uh, programs have that reversed. So the first time you start it up it's going to be O for OK and X for Cancel. So, well, just a heads up. Well, yet, let's go into the file browser. And once you're in there you get about... <coughs> and once you're in there you get access to about anything in the PlayStation 2 you need. Memory card 1, memory card 2, the hard disk drive, the CD, DVD drive. Mass is the USB drive which I have really uh, mass is the USB drive. Host is, host is the network connection to your computer when you have the PS2 client loader installed, which I introduced to you in part one of this tutorial. And MISC are just some different programs like a text editor and a picture viewer. It's nothing major, but it's well something. So let's go to part two of the of this video. Okay, in order to configure you launch ELF, you will want to press select and on this screen you have the button configuration for the start screen. Here you can put any ELF program you want and it is available at the start. Now the first one is the file browser. Many people, like me, delete this one accidentally and afterwards don't know where to find it. So I'm going to explain this to you. So simply press X to search for it, go to MISC and the first one is the file browser. Just select it and it's back in the list. Just do the same with uh, all the other programs you want to use. Now show launch titles, I don't know what this does. This control is something advanced, it never worked for me. Hide full ELF paths also never worked for me, so I don't know how to explain it. Now over to the screen settings. Once you're in here, you will notice that there are many different numbers. You can change the different colors of the different parts of the menu, but in the end it doesn't look very good. Then you have the TV mode, where you can set between NTSC, PAL and Auto. Then here the screen offset where you can correct the picture if it's off in any way. Then the interlace, I don't know for what it's good because, well, in the end I have never seen Ulon GLF have an interlace problem. Now then the skin settings, I will explain this later to you. Now, let's get out of here and go to the startup settings. Now this is a lot of advanced hoo-ha, uh, but what's very important is the pad mapping right here, 
where you can change the OK control between O and X. That's very important and well besides that there's really nothing you, sh you should change there. Really the, le the rest leave alone. So go back and network settings. The network settings I explained them in an earlier video. You can just set them here, save them and well in the end you you need a little bit more than that to go online so this is just really the very basic so just hit OK and see you at the next part and now I'm going to show you how to back up your memory card since that is very important if you want to mess around with it Many programs and games you can put on it are pretty huge in comparison to the space that you have. So let's open the Fire Browser and go into the memory card. Now many people have no idea what to do with this because you have no names, no nothing. That's just how you Ulaunch ELF is. But you can change this setting. You just have to press the left shoulder button, shoulder button L1. And here you have a menu to change the content to game title by pressing the square button. Now once you go back by pressing the triangle, you have all the names of the different games. What we want to do now is mark all, all of them and copy them to your memory card. So you have to look at the bottom screen where you have mark, which is for me the circle, and mark all the folders. till all of them have a little dot in them. Once you have done that, press the right sh shoulder button and you get this menu. Just press copy and you get a little green dot in the right upper corner when it's done. After it's copied, ch copy change to your USB drive and I hope you have a folder for it in, in place. I will just put it here in my boot folder. Ok, just select the folder, press the right shoulder button again and this time press paste. So it's going to take a little while in order to do this because the memory card is not very fast but once you have done that your memory card will be, will be backed up and you have space to put in something new. Isn't that nice? Isn't that great? Yeah, I think so too. There are many times a PlayStation 2 program will have the option to go back to a certain program on the memory card without restarting the software. There are also some mod chips that allow you to do this without having to start any CD or anything so that is pretty positive. So now we are going to put ULaunch ELF into that position for better usage. So make a folder on your USB drive called boot and put the ULaunch ELF file in there. Now it won't work this way because you have to rename the file into boot ELF, everything in big letters. If you make anything in small letters it won't work, the PlayStation 2 is very sensitive on that one. Once you have the folder and the, and the file ready, we go back to the PlayStation 2. So, back on the PlayStation 2, you're going to go into the file browser, then to your USB drive, and mark the boot folder that you made. Now just hit the right shoulder button and copy the folder again. Once you see the green dot, you can go to your memory card and just go again, right shoulder button and paste. I already have a boot file in this folder, so I, I get this error. So just hit OK and that's it. Once the file is on there, the SMS Media Player, for example, can access it or as for my knowledge, the Matrix Infinity chip can also exit it pretty easy by selecting either Dev1 Def or Dev2. I'm not sure at that one. 
You can also put other programs and files on the memory card this way. You just always have to keep in mind that you only have a limited amount of MB, which in my case are 4.3 MB left. Well, let's go on to the next part, shall we? So for the last part of this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use skins on your U-Launch ELF. So first off I'm going to show you where, where to get skins for the U-Launch. I like to use SKS apps because they have the most stuff, honestly. So skins, PlayStation 2 and here we already have U-Launch ELF. There are already also skins for other systems, but I can't explain all of them at once, at least. So, you launch. Um, let's take the Final Fantasy one. Sure. Yeah, looks pretty nice. Download. Save. Again, my Windows is part German, so if you're going to claim complain about that, you can believe me, I delete that. So, okay, the file is downloaded. Let's open it. Just put this folder on your USB drive and we are ready to go over to the PlayStation 2. Okay, once you're back on your PlayStation 2, you will want to copy these files on your memory card. So, you launch your app won't have any problems in finding them. So, go into the file browser on your memory uh, on your USB drive then select the folder as before mark it then the right shoulder button copy then go back to your memory card and just paste it if it gives you this error, just ignore it. Just hit OK. OK, now that all the files are on the memory card, let's go back to the start screen and go into the configurations. Down to screen settings down 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 to load skin cnf just hit x and search for the folder you just copied once here you have two options there are two cnfs the pal one and the ntsc if you don't know what those things mean please google it it's important well my playstation 2 needs the ntsc so let's take that and well, we're finished. Let's return and OK. Well, now you have everything you need to discover stuff on your PlayStation 2 by yourself. In the next one I'm going to show you some emulators and we're going to play some Super Nintendo games on the PlayStation 2. Yeah, Super Nintendo games on the PlayStation 2. So do Game Boy and Sega games work, so we're going to have some fun with that. Well, see you next time, guys. Have fun.